Three different setups, multiple opportunities. Hey, what's up, Fisherholics? And today I'm here at a local park in Cranston, Rhode Island on March 13th, and I'm going to be doing some bass fishing. Right now is the transitional period from late winter to early spring, and today is you know it's pretty much mid-March and it's 65 degrees, so it's pretty much like a spring day, but the water is still a little chilly. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing some pond hopping in this park because there's multiple little ponds on this park's property. Okay, I'm going to start off throwing the finesse fish for today. Oh, bad little crappy. Both crappy. Too crappy. Alright guys, I'm finally starting to see some fish. I came to the far side of the pond. I walked all the way around the opposite side. And now I came to the far side and there's a lot more sun here. So it looks like there's more, some more fish around. First bass of the day on the finesse fish. So one on the board for the finesse fish. Real lunker though, right? <laughs> oh, there he is. That's two bat, two bass for the finesse fish. This one's a little bigger. I haven't really took a cast of the jig or the worm, but I have a feeling they'll catch one. Oh, I got a lot of fish right here in front of me here. I'm going to throw out the jig. I've got a lot of wood wood cover here. There could be a big bass sitting around here. Oh, there he is. Not a big one, but a bass. There we go. One bass on the jig. All right, well that's one on the board for the for the bitsy bug jig. All right, I'm gonna take one more cast with the Bitsy Bug, then I'm gonna switch over to the Worm, the Cream Scoundrel, and uh, see if I can get a bass on that. This little pond feels a lot warmer back here. I'm kind of like isolated. Oh, there he is. That's on the Bitsy Bug. Okay, that ties it up with the 
Lunker City finesse fish. Not a big bass, but today I'm more so fishing for quantity, not quality. There he is. There he is. This is probably this is the biggest one of the day right here. Whoo! That's a that's a little chunk. Only about a 12 inch, probably about a pound, but they're loving the bitsy bug today. Whoo! Let's catch some more. Putting on the new trailer, but this is basically what I'm using as a trailer. Just a little Bass Pro Shops tournament series uh, incredible craw in green pumpkin. It's a really good trailer to use in late fall, you know, throughout winter and early spring. And this trailer is a little bit too big for this jig. So what I like to do is I like to measure it where I want that that craw to be. And then I give it a little snip. And that makes that trailer just a little bit shorter. And that's your bitsy bug jig right there. What I'm gonna do now is add a little drop of this Berkeley Bass Attractant. Give that trailer a little bit of flavor. So those bass will hold on to it just a little bit longer in this cold water. This looks like a good little spot here. Bass love these reeds because they can sneak in here and grab little minnows that use the reeds here as cover. Oh, I got a bass right here in front of me. I think I just, I just saw a bass cruise by. Not interested in the, the worm though. This is usually a really good early spring time bait, but it just might be a little too early. Oh, there was a bluegill that grabbed it. This will be my last cast with the little cream scoundrel. Unless I get a bite on this cast, but then I'm going to switch back to the jig because that seems to be producing the best, uh, the best fish out of this little pond. And then I might switch to the finesse fish and uh, fish off that dock or something. That dock looks pretty good. There's probably going to be some fish around that. If I throw this little bitsy bug out here in the same spot where I just fished the cream scoundrel and I get a, and I get a fish, then I know that they are really keying in on small crayfish. There he is. They definitely want the jig. Oh, they definitely want the jig. That's the biggest one of the day right there. That's a nice one. Nice little chunk on that bitsy bug. They just love the bitsy bug today. You never ever want to just jump on a dock. You always want to fish it before you jump on it. Especially because this is a floating dock. Probably going to be a bass along the shoreline here. There he is. Another little bass that's five for the bitsy bug. It's amazing this little guy can get this little jig in his mouth. Nice healthy little bass. Oh, there's a fish right away. Bass ate it. That's number six. Little guy. I'm gonna take a few casts with the finesse fish off this dock here. Might be able to connect with the bass on this little finesse fish. There he is. That fish ate it right away. Oh, it's not a bass. It's a nice crappie. Oh, all right. I think I might be able to count this crappie is a bass. That's a nice, this crappie's bigger than the bass. There he is. As soon as it hit the water. There we go. Nice little bass. 
really nice light colors to them. Really cool. I, lo I love that. Whoa. Dropping them on the dock. Come back here. Come back here. Put them back in the water nice and easy. Oof. That fish picked it up right away, just like the crappie. we got off. That would have been seven for the jig. He actually chased that and he ate that. Wow, that bass is pretty aggressive. There he is. <laughs> if I can get him in. Oh my gosh. I just wrapped the bass around <clears throat> the tree. for the big